Hello, today we are sewing the Campanella project. This is the sew along and video tutorial for the eye line dress or tonic. The method is the same, only the tonic is a little bit shorter. Okay, so we start by we have the dress and we have the facing. The facing, before cutting the pieces, you interface the fabric and then you cut the pieces. We use the interfacing uh, in this way uh, with the interfacing to stabilize the neckline. And we start by marking the center front and center back of the dress and the facing. And we sew the shoulder seams of both the dress and the facing. So here it is. I stitch the two pieces of the facing, right sides touching on the shoulders and the same of the dress, right sides touching. And I also pressed the seams open so now you press the seams open and now it's a good uh, it's a good time to finish the raw edges only of the dress because you don't need to finish the facing because um, the seams are hidden inside the dress so you can also do this later but it's a good moment now to uh, use your overlocker or zigzag to finish the edges uh, just to mention when uh, I noticed that when I finish the edges of the eyeline dresses or skirts I start from the bottom of the skirt so the the seam uh, stays nice and flat otherwise if I start from here it's all undulated so my advice is to finish your seam uh, your edges starting from the bottom of the skirt now open the dress and the facing and place the facing on the dress right sides touching and pin on the center back, on the center front and the shoulder seams. Here it is, center front, center back and the shoulders. Just a quick tip, in order to have the shoulder seams that match perfectly once sewn, you place the facing one millimeter be uh, before uh, the, the other seam of the dress. So when you sew, the sewing machine will push this, this seam and they will match perfectly. Otherwise, if you match them now, the one uh, that is up will be a little bit down, if you know what I mean. Now the sewing part. You, uh, you, uh, the sewing allowances are at one centimeter, so for the beginners, you should use um, a magnet. Here it is. You place your magnet at one centimeter, which is uh, three to eight, if I'm not wrong, of inches. And this will uh, keep you go straight all the time. So, which start and while you're sewing, don't pull this part. This part it's cut on bias so if you pull it won't be uh, nice and flat later so just sew without pulling I only have one hand free so it's a little bit tricky but you see just guide it without pulling all around like this start from the center back and go all around and finish where you started Finish with a back stitch. So here it is. Now, with a pair of picking shares, we go all around and cut away a half centimeter, which is a little bit uh, like uh, one quarter of an inch. So, um, my advice is not to cut here on the shoulder seams. Because if you do, you will undo it and it can open here. So I will all around cut away with the pinking shares. If you don't have pinking shares, you just make little triangles, cut away little triangles all around the neckline with normal shares. Here it is. You see? Now we're going to turn inside the facing and we are going now to stitch on the facing, keeping the seam allowance under the facing, just near the edge, all around. This will keep 
the facing inside where it will prevent it from popping out of the dress. So here we have our facing and under we have the seam allowance. Now we're going to stitch near the edge all around. To do, do this correctly, keep your eye on the needle, go slowly and stitch bit by bit. Finish on the part you started with a back stitch. Okay, without ironing, pressing with the iron, it's already inside. You see, this is going to keep it inside. Now, on the facing, press with your steam iron and it will make it nice and flat. Okay, here it is, the facing sewn on the dress. Now we're going to sew the armholes. Okay, now for the armholes, you take the facing and the dress. This is an alternative method to the classical burrito met uh, roller method. I find this one easier for a very narrow shoulders like this. So now you take those two and you just turn, turn them right sides facing, right sides touching on the side seam and put a pin here. Start with the back stitch and don't try to pull all at once, just do it once at a time. Arrange it and start so stitching. We Here we have one quarter of an inch, seven millimeters, so sewing allowance. Okay, so a little bit at a time. Your goal is to get to the sh uh, shoulder seam and then start from the other side. It's easier shown, shown than explained. So, you see, just pull it a little bit, little by little. It's a little bit tricky. This is a very small size. So, the smaller the size, the trickier. Now we get to the shoulder seam. See, pull it out. Here we have the shoulder seam and we want to match the other shoulder seam as much as possible. A couple of millimeters don't, don't make a big difference, but the, be the, the more it's matched, the better. Okay, so here it is. We want to go beyond the shoulder seam as much as we can and backstitch. Now pull it out. You see. You sewn one part of the armhole. Now only on this curve here, see this curve? Cut with the picking, pinging shares. Only on this curve. And then, you see, we have the other part to sew. So, like before, this time we have the facing under. You open them and place the, side, the sides one on the other. Right sides touching and now you sew again. Up, at, uh, up until the back stitch you made before. Okay, now we need to pull out the back stitch we made before where we stopped. Okay, here it is. Now I'm going to close the seam on that back stitch. I will back stitch again. And again, use the pinking shares only on this curve. And we did one armhole. And here is our armhole. You do the same on the other side. And then we are going to once again stitch on the facing 
near the edge to keep the facing inside also on the armholes. Here we cannot go all around like with the neckline. We will do as much as we can on one and on the other side. So, stitch near the edge. And you go as much as you can. You see, already here it's going to be tough because the narrow shoulder doesn't let me go much further. Also on the other side it's very narrow. Be sure to all the time feel with your finger under the sewing allowance. And here I'm going to stop because I can go, go don't go, I cannot go further. Here it is. You see? It stops here and here it stops here. This part I was not able to do because it's too narrow. But it's more than fine like this because it's going to keep the facing inside. Now we are going to close the, the side seams. Now you take one angle and the other of the facing. You pin here, these two angles, now here. Using the same trick I showed you before, just one millimeter before and all around with the pins. Right sides touching. Start with a back stitch. Use your magnet. And when you're here, we have here we have an angle here. So keeping the needle down, just turn it slightly and go on until you finish the seam. Here it is. Seems open. Now it's the time to finish the facing all around. Here. All around this part of this facing. Finish it with your overlocker or the zigzag stitch. Once we finished the facing all around, we are going now to, to press this part of the facing with your steam iron and then align the seam, uh, the seam of the facing with the seam of the dress and put a pin on it. Now turn it on the, on, on the right side and sew exactly inside this seam. This will keep the facing inside the dress. So sew a little bit before you get to the pin and backstitch, starting and finishing. So. Okay, okay, this is going to keep the dress in the facing inside, but if you want, you can also do the bl blind stitch all around the facing. I don't do it usually because it takes a really lot of time. So the next step is the small hem, rolled hem. So you can uh, now we're going to stitch all around on the hem. Uh, a stitch that is going to help us then fold the, the hem. You can do it with your overlocker with only one needle all around, finish the edge and because the, the measure is the same, one um, quarter of an inch or five uh, millimeters. Or you, if you don't have overlocker, you just sew uh, half, um, one quarter of an inch all around the dress, all around the hem. Here is the seam that will help us fold the hem. Now, you see, fold it once and fold it again. So you're using this as a guide, whether it is the overlocker seam or the classic uh, stitching, just fold on the stitching once and then fold again. Now you go under the presser foot and you start stitching near the edge. Here again you need to keep your eyes on the needle and go near the edge as possible. Now you don't don't even try folding and ironing and pinning. You cannot do it because the you see the hem is oval. It's not straight. So you see here what you have to do is fold little by little so just a couple of centimeters so and fold you see when you fold be sure that 
you fold on the stitching and again you fold on the edge don't do something like this fold on the stitching and then maybe here more no fold on the stitching and fold fold on the edge press with your fingers so what you're going to do is fold and press and just little by little don't try to do it here because you won't be able because I, as I said, it's oval. It's round, not oval. It's round. Monsieur Bowser? Bien sûr, ici. No. It takes a bit of time because our line dresses and skirts are huge usually. For kids, no, but for women, yes. But you just go on like this. Fold. It's important that you here on the seam that the seam match and you finish you see it's very nice very nice and pretty to see when you finish on the spot you started now you you press the seam flat and our project is finished and here our project is finished Thank you for watching.